Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. We're starting the timer, we baby. We actually have to hit the timer. Ding, boom, Two minutes slap. Rest. TNT. What I, am, I am passionate about this one. I Gym etiquette, it. yo. Big. Gym etiquette, yo. I'm big on this. Me and Jonas been hitting the gym a little bit lately. We getting oh. big and buff sexy. It's been like, it's been like two, two months. Hell yeah, yeah, dude. We were sitting out here looking like a couple of members from Cisco. Some Adonises in the, in the house. Yeah. All right, man. I have some real offenders I got to talk about. All right. What's, what's, All right. what's the What grinds your gears? Oh, so this happens to me 70% of the time at my at the gym. You get a boner There's, in the no, shower. It's when I get a boner in the shower. Oh, my God. <laughs> I'm a tangent. Right no, there. I don't want to hear your shower I, boner I saw, story. I saw a Reddit thing. and some It was an Ask Reddit, and somebody said, how do you get motivation to go to the gym? I really need to go. And the best comment I saw was it got awarded to hell. Some guy just commented. He's like, I just go stand around naked in the locker room talking to the guys. <laughs> That's all. <laughs> I was like, I don't even work out. <laughs> hey, guys, how's it going? They're like, just, you're in here all the time. Just, just put, make. <laughs> put your leg up on the bench while you're talking. <laughs> right. Yeah. Anyways, so that is a thing. Like, that is my another. They don't do that plan at fitness, too. But, like, I've been at, like, the Y, and, like, old men just walk around with their ball, and they'll stop and just, like, talk to you. Yeah. They will do that. They'll put their leg up, and they're just yeah. and you're like, yo. Anyways. I think they're hoping for something. Honestly. I uh, so at the Planet Fitness we go to, there's a there's like an upstairs part. That's where their ab section is, where they have like all like the the, the not ab machines, but like those sit up sit up things. And there's a, a stretch cage and the stuff like that. There is this guy who is in the he he's on the same gym schedule as me, Monday through Friday in the <laughs> afternoon. And every time it's at least three of the five days a week, I walk upstairs to go up there. He has p- put. Every weight plate in the entire upstairs on the floor in a stack oh, and then puts the, the sit-up thing on top of it so he can do incline sit-ups. Uh, Every weight in the entire upstairs of the gym. So I walk all the way up there. Then I have to walk all the way back down to get a weight plate and then walk it all the way back. I'm like, this mother effer, dude. Can't you leave one? Why do you have to take every single plate? You should, you should say something to him. I ain't going to try to... Man, Dan, do bros at the gym, yo. I ain't even about to... Nah, yo. Uh, so, so It's like, what do you do in this situation? Like, how does he not realize that's a D move? Well, yeah. I, well, people are like... What, what, do you, what do you call it? Sometimes oblivious. they're not... Ne- some, yeah, oblivious. And a lot of times they will be ignorant and not necessarily malicious. Not not like he's sitting there like, well, I'll right. take every weight plate in the building and build myself a tower to do my inclined sit-ups. Right, exactly. It's or more or less like he doesn't point. realize other people want it. Maybe, <laughs> a, maybe a simple nudge in the direction like, of, uh, hey. Hey, buddy. Yeah, yeah well, because like, they have other machines up there that like they're like where you sit, you put, sit on your knees and you pull with your legs and it does ab work, but mm-hmm. you they have things underneath to add weight on to make it more resistant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that was that's victim number one. Right. Number two, right. Right. the other day there's 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 two like bench press machines. No, oh and there's God. only one of each. One's an incline, one's a regular. This dude was using. I I go in there and I do two chest sets. The the the, the, um, the incline and the regular. Yeah. I go in. He's sitting down to do the incline, mm-hmm. and I'm like, okay, I'll get on it when he's done. He then brings over a dumbbell, a barbell, and he he just he just that that's his station now. For he was in there the entire. I couldn't use it the entire hour I was in the gym because oh. he he incorporated that machine, the dumbbell and the barbell into his workout, and he's just so, there. With, he has a whole setup on I, the machine. This this is my number one right here. This is my number one issue with the gym is the fact that there's only so many stations for bench press. Right, and people will just be there for like 35 minutes 45 minutes not even doing bench press not even yeah like what's the like okay so let's just let's let's establish a precedence here about how long should a person be at the bench press station before they have to get the fuck up and leave if you're not doing the if you're not doing the exercise the machine is meant to be done and you're not taking like a minute break in between sets exactly get off the machine so i'm thinking like 15, 
20 minutes maximum. Oh, God damn. That's a lot. That's yeah. a long time. But, I'm, right. you know, I'm incorporating. Maybe it's a heavy set day and right. you're doing breaks I've also or seen people use, a, use dumbbells and then sit down on the back machine just to rest in between sets. They yeah. aren't even doing back at all. Yeah. I'm like, what are you, there's a bench right in <laughs> front of you that you can sit on. Why are you using a machine to rest on? Mm. Yeah. Like, you know I got to do legs every day. You know I do back. Like, oh yeah, dude, it's it's people are just so. But I, I hate it, dude. There's, dude. This, there's this Weasley looking mother fudger with a ponytail and glasses. Yeah, yeah. And he has a big red tattoo on his arm. Right. And he's the one who is on the bench press like the entire time. He's like I'm, doing calf raises and stuff. And you're like, yo. He's doing freaking Kegels. And I'm <laughs> like, why? Yeah. Go do them at home. I don't know. I it bothers me a little bit. You have to be so quick when you go to the gym to get on a bench press machine. Like I've literally had to hover over a lady. I told her the other day, I was like, Look, I'm sorry I'm hovering, but you gotta be quick to get on one of these. <laughs> right. And I, she yeah. was like, Yeah, I know. I'm like, yeah. yeah, okay. And then one real quick one and I'll let you give your your t- well, no, is that's, when, that's when really you're walking is. towards a machine and somebody gets on in front of you. Like you're like, Oh, I'm gonna go to that one across the gym and you're like let me start strolling over, and then Joe Smooth's just like, "I'm gonna work out on this machine now." <laughs> yeah, that's the bench press for me. Every yeah, time. and or and then and then you watch him. And you're like, "Oh, let's let him do his sets." And then he's just like, in between every set, he's like on his phone for ten minutes. And I'm like, "Yo, yeah, who's taking ten minutes between sets?" And see, I try to you see. I take I take long breaks. I, I'm no, I'll admit that I take like a minute sometimes, maybe but that's a minute average, and a half. Break. Yo. Maybe a minute and a half break, whatever. But I try to be. Just cognizant of other people need to use the machines. Bench press, I'm on there for maybe 15 minutes, right. if even that. It's like you make haste, but yeah. also need to like you got to re- you got to do your rest if you do rest sets or whatever. Yeah. Exactly. So when you go, do you have like a you have a circuit obviously that you do? Yeah, I do full body every day because um, I'm not trying to. Do you like, have a preferred order? Oh, is absolutely. That, okay, and is that why sometimes when people uh, maybe walking towards the machine because of your preferred order that well yeah that well yeah that, that and uh yeah and so, or sometimes it's like the last thing i gotta do and i'm like well what do i do now okay i'm all okay. done i got one exercise to do and now i gotta wait for okay. you to like stroke your schlong for nine hours <laughs> i gotta wait for you to text your girlfriend about right the- in, oh that dude i can't oh when i just see people sitting on the machine just texting Oh for my like, God. I'm like, and I get it because in between sets, sometimes I'll pull out my phone and look at something for like 30 seconds, put it away. Yeah. But like when you see them literally just sitting there, like, just like, <laughs> like, what are you doing? Playing words with friends? Is that what hot in, hot in the streets of the gym? You're playing, <laughs> playing scattergories. <laughs> All right. I got another one for you. Not so much annoying, but more just like, like, it's, come on. Have you ever seen like, uh. The hot chick at the gym. Oh, yeah. Oh, be like I the mean, hot I've chick. seen hot chicks. And then there. there'll be like the guy who comes up and walks and starts talking with her. Uh-huh. And then there'll be like the old guy who talks to everybody in the gym. But of course, he's going to go and talk to her. Yeah. And then there'll be like the, the younger guy who comes over and wants to do like fist bumps and stuff with her. I've seen one girl in the gym. Now, mind you, Jonas, this girl is a supermodel material, one of the hottest like, women. I've, I didn't so, know, Solid 10. Like, I didn't know they made women this hot. And we live in Texas, a lot of Hispanic culture in this in this city. Oh, yeah. Um, so, whatever. It is what it is. <clears throat> yeah. Broad was amazing looking. She had four different people. She's on one leg machine, like the freaking leg curls. She's on there. Th- three different people came and started talking to her. I'm looking at her. Poor girl, dude. Like... <laughs> I'm looking at her, and I'm like, I haven't had a conversation with anybody in this gym since I've been here. Right. You've been going like four, yeah. five days a week. People won't even look me in the eye when I come to this gym. She had three people come up and talk to her. I was like, yeah, I bet you wish you were me right and now. And she's got headphones in, so it's already don't talk to me. <laughs> right. Dude, that's why we talked about this the one day. It's like when right. when you see the girl give like the, the, the like almost like the what the fuck, pulls out the headphone, looks yep, with, with yep. like the death stare, gives like a one word answer, yeah. puts the headphone back in, turns her head, guy doesn't get the clue, keeps talking, she j- jerks it out of her ear again, turns, one word answer, back in, and I'm like, when are you going to get the hint? This chick does Bruh. not want to talk to you, yo. Bruh. And, and you know what? Honestly, it's like... I. I kind of feel like that's unfair on like uh, because that's happened to me before. Somebody said something to me and I'm like, what? I pull the thing out of my ear. I'm like, what? I'm sorry. I didn't hear you. You know? Right. Right. Yeah. Like, like, you ain't got to be mean. Maybe he really wants something to say. Maybe he's just hitting on you. Maybe they've experienced that so much in their life where they feel like they need to be. Right. Dismissive. Right. Exactly. Yeah. But it, it, it's going to happen at the gym. 
Okay. Yeah, man. And I, I've definitely had girls give me the death stare. I'm like, look, I'm not trying to hit. I don't go to the gym with the intention of hitting no, anybody. No, I don't. Yeah, I ain't trying to. I like. I ain't trying to make yeah. friends. I ain't trying. Like, like I've seen. There's people I've seen in there almost every time I go, and like they, then you start acknowledging sometimes. Like, oh hey, like what? Like I see you in here all the time. What up? Yeah, and that's yeah. it. Like I don't, I don't give that. Yeah, man. like if that's the most. That. I mean, like I'm not even. Yeah. I'm in. I go in. I work out. I get out. That's the thing. It's like um. I've I've gone to the gym for long periods of times when in the past, and I found out that the worst thing I could do is start making friends with everybody because then they want to socialize. You waste time. They want to talk, and that talk takes out of workout time. And I'm already on a short enough schedule as it is, right. man. I'm dealing with like oh yeah, like six hours of free time a day as it is. Right. So I need to exactly. Like, I go on my lunch break. Like if yeah. I get delayed eight minutes like i i, yeah, I can't even yeah, do yeah. some of my exercise yeah. like i go i have enough time to drive there yeah. pound out my workout fast and drive home and still be like five minutes late yep. back for my lunch yep. so it's yeah anyways uh, that's all the time we have for today's episode let us know what you think about gym etiquette uh for jonas tnt go to the crazy and subscribe we out